Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of our Python 3 tkinter uh, tutorial mini-series. Uh, in the last video we made just a really simple basic window. We did it in eight lines, um, which would really take you know, hundreds if not thousands of lines to create a window normally. Uh, so we can already kind of see the value of using tkinter. Um, but anyway, uh, with that we're going to go ahead and continue on. So the first thing that we might want to have in our window is people want to maybe add buttons. So let's go ahead and add a button to this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and in this initialization, we want this window to pop up you know, immediately. Okay. So we have a class window and it's really just a frame and we've initialized this, but now what we're going to want to go ahead and do is in our initialization, we're going to say self dot and then we're going to go init underscore window, empty parameters for now. Now, init window does not exist, okay? So this is not something that's built into tkinter. We're going to use this, and we're going to create this function right now. So we'll come down, and we're going to say define init underscore window. And again, we're just going to pass through a single parameter. Can you guess what the parameter is going to be? Self. That's it. Colon. Um, and now what we're going to go ahead and say is self.master.title is going to be, uh, we're going to call it GUI, okay? And then we're going to say uh, self.pack. And uh, basically, first of all, let's just go ahead and I suppose what we should do is def explain what, what we're doing here. So again, so we, what you have with a, a window is you actually have a frame. And then within that frame, you put really windows. Um, and so basically here, we're initializing the window. And then um, here we're saying the title of our window is GUI. So your understanding of what a window is, uh, where the title of that window might go, is going to be GUI, okay? And now what we're doing is we're saying self.pack, and what we're going to do is we're going to say fill equals both, and then expand, oops, expand equals one. And basically what this is saying is, yes, uh, we'll adjust dimensions as, as needed, and then also we're filling up the window. And then we're going to come down here, and what we want to do is we want to create our button instant. So, and then pack, we're basically packing this into our frame, okay? So we've got, um, let's say we want to have a quit button. So we can all, not only can we make a button, but we can uh, go from there into event handling. So we're going to say quit button equals capital B U T T O N for button. And this button is a part of tkinter, so we're kind of taking button from tkinter. Um, maybe it would be nice uh, for us to view that really quick. So 34, um, just a quick aside, TCL, keep that in mind. Uh, you might want to check that out at some point. Anyway, tkinter and uh, buttons probably in init, maybe even in main. I should have found these before. I guess I won't find it because I don't want to spend like 20 minutes searching for that on, on film. But anyway, button is a function within uh, tkinter. Now, again, button, self. Again, it could be bajumba or whatever you wanted. And then we're going to say uh, text. This is the text that will be written on the button. So you could put anything here. For us, we're going to say the text is uh, quit. Okay, and then what we're going to go ahead and do is enter, enter, and then we'll say quit button dot place, and we want to place this button uh, at x equals zero and y equals zero. So this will put it at the upper left. So if you're familiar with like CSS or anything like that, generally what you do is you start at the upper left, and any additions right are that many pixels over, that many pixels down. Okay. A little bit different than your the convention where it's really the bottom left and then you know x is over y is up. It's not really like that. It's actually x over true, but y is actually down so to speak. So anyway, um, that should be good. Uh, we've got now a quit button placed. It's not going to do anything, but it's there. <laughs> okay, so we're placing that quit button now. Might be a good idea to once we start saying, "Hey, we're going to use these pixels, and here's what we're going to do." Blah blah blah. It might be a good idea to go ahead and specify the default shape of this window. That way, as we're kind of placing things on it, we can do the math in our head. Say, "Hey, this button will fit," or "No, this button won't fit." Because, like, 
If you say we wanted to place this button at x equals 500 and y equals 1,000, well, we saw the previous window, the deep by default. The window's not that big, so uh, it wouldn't even be there, okay? So what we're going to go ahead and do is after we've defined root equals tk, next thing we can do is we can say root dot geometry, geometry, geomet geometry, goodness, I can't spell. And then here you can specify the dimensions of this window. So we're going to say it's a 400 by 300 window, okay? And then that's really all the things that we need to change. So now what we can do is let's go ahead and save and run this. And here's our window. Now you can see our default size of our window is different. We can still, however, you know, modify the size of the window and all of that. Uh, the quit button we can click, but it doesn't do anything. But at least it acts like a button. Like look at all that. Like we didn't have to code any of that. Uh, you know, the button being pressed, pressed in and out shape of the button, the shadow of the button, I mean, all this stuff that's going into this window uh, is pretty impressive. So anyway, uh, click the X. So that's how we can make a button. But we clicked the hell out of that button and nothing happened, right? So now what we need to do is we have to give the button an event handling ability so when someone clicks it, it does something, okay? That's what the whole point of a button is. So in the next video, that's what we're going to be covering is uh, event handling and making this button actually, you know, quit. Okay, so if anybody has any questions or comments regarding uh, this video, please feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.